okay, in the previous videos, the client computer was in the same network as the IIS web server and FTP server. So the FTP and IIS server was at 192.168.41.190, and I was on the same network, and it was very easy to test and run the uh, FileZilla client, the FTP client, to test out the configuration. But right now, I've changed locations, and so now it's a little bit different. So now, I am in this scenario. Right now, my client computer is on the 4 network, and the IIS FTP server is still on the 41.190, network, host number 190, right? So my server's still there, but I'm no longer on the same network as the server. Now, I have a remote desktop connection to it right here, and so that's pretty pretty nice that I have this remote desktop. So I'm in the server and we've just ch made some configuration changes but now how to um, test it by FTPing to it. Okay, because I'm on this separate network now. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use this as a chance to um, show how the firewall works in between, the router in between. So what I'm going to do is since I'm on this um, network right here on my server I'll use my server to get into the firewall router. So I'll go to the server and just so happens that this firewall router is located at this address which I'm going to get to. Okay, so I'm going to remote into the firewall router that's in between and I'll just take a second here. Okay, so now I'm in the firewall router, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a little bit about how this firewall, this is an Endian firewall, which is a free download, and you can download this freely and then install it on a computer and create your own firewall router. What I'll do is I'll go to the firewall, and I'll show you how I have it configured. Right now, I have port 25 pointed to the server for mail, right? I've got DNS pointed to the server. I've got a bunch of points, ports pointed to the server, including the R desktop, which allowed me to remote into the um, server with R desktop. But what I need to do is I need to put in a new port, port 21. So let's do that, right? That'll be a good exercise. So now I'm in the router. You know, we've opened up, we've checked the firewall on the, on the server, but we haven't checked the firewall on the router. So now we go in here, we see that the firewall doesn't have an entry for port 21, so we can't test our server out. So we'll add a, um, say, port 21, right? We can just go in here and put FTP. There you go. Service FTP. The port range comes up automatically for 21 in the protocol of TCP. I'll say incoming IP is from any uplink, right? Which is basically the WAN, right? Let's say in this, in this scenario. And we're going to change it to 192.168.41.190 and we'll change, make sure that it nats to port 21. So this is natting, it's going to change the connection, send it to the server at 192.168.41.190 at port 21. And so I'll put here to mount Zion FTP and I'll hit create rule and then I'll hit apply. So now it's at port 21 and so now we should be able to contact our um, router from where we're at right now and we'll go back to our picture just to verify how that's set up. Okay so I've put in some IP addresses here just to show you. So this FTP client is located, let's say, at 4.150, and on the WAN side of this firewall router is this IP address, 4.254, and on the LAN side of this firewall router is 41.1. So now we should be able to communicate across, and at least on port 21 anyway. So I've changed my host now, and you can do this with... Um, with an FTP client. I've changed my FTP client here to 192.168.4.254 which is the WAN side of my firewall router and then that will be port forwarded 
over to the server. And my username, I go with the same thing, dan.mountzion.com, and then pipe to Dan, and then we'll try to connect. And it says user cannot connect. So we'll try again. We'll stop that. Okay, now go figure. I got it to work. And this time, the way I got it to work, and this has been different other times, what I did was I put in the dan.mountzion.com address, but I could have easily just put in the um, IP address here, 192.168.4.254, which is the router, which is going to forward it to the server, right? But then, look what I did in my username. I put dan.mountzion.com, and then I put a pipe symbol, and then I, for instead of just Dan as the user, I put dan at mountzion.com, and you type quick connect, and we'll go for new connection here, and we're in, right? And so then I can, let's just copy something over there uh, really quickly. So we'll copy over this um, edge transport.jpg, and we'll copy that over there. And looks like it went across the firewall and everything. And we'll go take a look at it. So now I'm in my server, right? Here's the server, and we'll go look at it. So open up the um, C drive, init pub, and then we'll go into the FTP root, Mount Zion, and then we'll go into Dan, and there's the picture, and there's the um, web page, and so it went over. So we're able to make a connection. We had to be very creative with how we list things, our username in um, FileZilla. Also, I wanted to point out that the reason I was able to get this working, the dan.mountzion.com, because this is not a uh, public, um, publicly available domain name here, or subdomain name, what I did was, is I did a cheat, and here on my laptop, I opened up Let's see here if we can get it notepad and I opened up my host file in notepad and this host file is located in the um, system 32 folder inside the drivers folder inside the ETC folder you'll find the host file and I did a host uh, direct mapping of the IP address I want to go to for the name dan.mountzion.com and that enabled me to put it in there and do that but as you can see it's just the same thing. It resolves and then it goes across. But the username was the uh, unique change that got it to work in this scenario.